Hi again everyone and welcome to episode 16 of Golden FC with me Paul from Golden FM on Twitter and we're getting towards the end of the series, not too many more games to go um, we'll try and whiz through them quickly because I know you know this series has run its course really um, yeah it's got a bit monotonous but we'll get through it and finish this season and hopefully get promoted to the Premiership and although like I said in the previous video I probably won't do another series because I won't have another season because I won't have enough time but you never know what could happen but yes the first game today was a very impressive 4-0 victory against Middlesbrough and we'll just check out the goals as usual very good victory after five games without a win in the last video back to winning ways in style Alex Martin and Greenwood getting two goals so let's just see what happened Gallagher into Martin got lucky popped off a Middlesbrough player's head there and Martin just had to stick it in the back of the net which he did and then the next goal, I crossed in with a corner, headed away by Bailey. Overcame Brow. Playing it right back today. And I passed it into Immines. Into Tommy, smashed at home. That was a great strike to make it 2 now. And the third goal in the second half. Just a short free kick out to Brow. Into Tom. And what a goal again. Two fantastic strikes from Tom Greenwood, the other half of Golden FM, um, to make it 3 0. Then a fourth goal. Looks like it's going to be a breakaway. Or not. I put the highlight too early in. Anyway, here came. It means good ball into Martin. And finished. Don't know what the keeper was doing there. But I wasn't going to complain about that. And as you can see, Tom got man of the match. Martin with 8.8. .8, but it means played very well. 9.0. I got a good rating. The whole team played pretty magnificently, really. And then, would you believe it? Another 4 0 victory against Birmingham this time. So, two 4 0 victories in a row. Very impressive stuff. Alex Martin with another two goals on fire. Having a great time in the team since coming, being promoted from the B team. So his first goal, great free kick into the top right hand corner. And the next goal, just skip it forwards a bit. So they had possession. It was cut out by Restel, who he had a hopeful clearance and it just went up to Martin Graham and then I finished quite easily into the bottom left hand corner and 3 now in the second half Rawlings into McBride into me, Martin turned and what a strike, what a finish brilliant brilliant goal from Martin to make it 3 now so Two goals for him again. And then lastly, looks like it's going to be a corner from Tom. Eventually. It take, takes forever. Puts it in. And Restel finishes. Not sure if he knew much about it, but into the bottom left hand corner for 4 0. And man of the match for Alex Martin. And an uh, all round. Very good performance once again from the team. Then we had a 2 0 away victory against Doncaster, not bad at all. Goal from me and Joe Lanes. Back in the team after injury, I believe. So it's good to see him back. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> so the first goal. Lanes. Collected it back to Rollins, into Tom, back to Rollins, into me, 
holding dribbling oh nice stuff and what a goal left foot bam brilliant strike brilliant dribble great goal um, I do say so myself as that was me but in computer form this second goal and last goal of the game in fact was here we go Martin at wide to lanes who held the ball off well and cut inside and brilliant brilliant stuff from lane somehow scored don't really know how but lovely finish and let's see how everyone did man of the match with joe lanes and yeah decent performance from everyone once again but then a disappointing defeat against palace um not much to say about this really as you can see, I had a poor game. Really let the team down. But no one had brilliant games. A couple of people got to sevens. But we dominated, as you can see on the right hand side, but couldn't find the back of the net. Which is a common occurrence in Football Manager, I'm sure you know the feeling. But yes, let's go to the next game. And the last game for this video was a 1-0 away victory against Leicester which Alex Martin scored in once again so that's five goals in five videos I think uh, five games in this video sorry so let's see the goal and the ratings as usual Schmeichel with the long ball Gallagher let's see the both Two Gallagher's playing in midfield, one for each team. And I found Martin. He finished nicely. And that one is the game. So yeah, man of the match for me. Go for Martin. Decent, solid defence. And we're moving to the reserves now, I think. In fact, there was no reserve games in this period of time. So, But there's four for the under 18, so we'll just see... Now oh, they got on. Very good 4-0 away victory against Lincoln. Two goals for Thor, goal for Chinook, goal for Callow. Brilliant, brilliant win. Barry Redknapp with an 8.7. Kenneth Kennelly with an 8.0. Good stuff. Then we played Golden FC Youth Candidates. So these are all regens. Eric Jack. What a name, Eric. And Jack. But yeah, um, we beat them 2-1. You'd expect better, to be honest. Um, a red card for them as well. But a goal for Cathal Donnelly and Brendan Hamay. And just a solid performance, but I would expect better. Against a, a new team full of 15 and 16 year olds, but never mind. Then a 3-2 victory against um, local rivals, Colchester. We get it beating the fellow Essex teams and yeah we did it once again with a 3-2 victory goals for D uh, Dugan, um, Dan Shaw and David Apuku actually look at these players I haven't seen play they seem to play some there uh, maybe the reserves were playing but um, yeah good victory and lastly, against the C team under 18s, I think we'll show you this one as Thor got a very good hat trick. And it was against one of our teams, so we may as well watch the goals. Convincing 3 0 away victory. Thor's been a beast this season. The Brazilian wonder kid. What a name is that? Whoever thought up Thor, you're a genius. Johnson tackled. Yeah, now well, let's go further forward. So here we go. Jack away. Quest it in. Oh, Thor tapping. I was expecting three wonder goals. But perhaps not. The next goal into Jack, into Blackmore. Good ball into Shaw. <laughs> and a tap in again for Thor, pretty much. Shaw, Thor. 
And then uh, lastly, perhaps he's a bit more of a poacher, Thor. Yeah, take it around the keeper there and finish nicely. So uh, three now, and this was the A team under 18 ratings. As you expect, he even came on off the bench at half time. It was a second half hat trick. Dan Shaw with an 8.1. Good stuff. Moving on to the B team. As you can see, a 1 0 draw against Brentford. The B team aren't doing quite as well as other teams, to be honest, um, in League One. C team and D team seem to do a bit better than the B team in their respective leagues. But I don't understand why the why was there no um subs? Well one sub. Wait, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he only put one sub on the bench, the um, manager. Strange person. But Azika got man of the match and a goal for McBride in a one all draw. Then a disappointing two one defeat against Knotts County where Skepsky got a goal a good performance from Brow, who we saw in the A team earlier, so I think I promoted him because he had injury problems. And Azika with an 8.5, he seems to play very well, this guy. Not bad. And yeah, disappointing defeat. But then, I guess we were saving it for this Johnston's Paint Trophy final against Huddersfield. Which we won in extra time, so I think I think we can see the goals. Well, the, the goal in extra time, which Stuart White scored, who's been drifting in between the A and B team. But let's just see this goal, which one is a trophy. So even if they don't go up, I guess a trophy will make up for it. Wilson crossed it in. Ah. Oh, Ages to go. Okay, here we are. Millard on the ball. Back to Wilson. Great ball in. And White headed home. Wilson is a brilliant left back. He's been superb all season. And good enough for the A team, I think. So, yeah, that was that one as a trophy. Because of that final, we had a lot of games in the space of very little time. So, three days later. We then had to play MK Dons and beat them 3-2. Jace Bedding with two goals and a 9.2. And Ollie Kelly with a goal. And an 8.1 for Jack Wilson. And despite having a red card for McMoran, we still won the game. So, very good stuff from the team. I say stuff a lot in these videos. Just realised. And unfortunately, we end the B team journey on this video with a defeat against Oldham. Away from home. So it's not the end of the world, but Jack Wilson, a man of the match, plays what a what a player he plays brilliantly. I mean, an 8.02 average rating over 44 games is very impressive. Thing is, I don't put him in the 18 because his good stats are attacking stats. I guess I could convert him into a left winger because his corners, crossing, free kicks, long shots, passing, are unbelievable. But, you know, his defence is alright, it's not bad, but then it's more of a dead ball specialist. Anyway, moving on to the C team. We beat AFC Wimbledon 3 0. Very good victory. Andrew Banks with two goals and a goal for Calzone. And uh, good performance all round. Very good victory. Then a 2 1 victory against Bullshot. Away from home. Goal for Connolly and Banks. Uh, Andrew Banks getting man of the match, in fact. Bryn played well. So did Calzone, the captain. Luke Reed. Morgan and Goal. Good, good all round performance to win 2 1. Then a very good 4 1 victory against Torquay. Goal for Josu. He's been brilliant. Andreasen, Andrew Banks, and another man of the match in goal. And Liam Conley as well. So all around good performance, apart from Dean Smith, unfortunately. 
Probably made the error for the goal, but never mind, we won 4 1. And lastly, we end this video on a 1 0 away draw against Bradford. Not too bad a result, as Bradford are a strong team. Maldonado were man of the match, Morgan played well in goal, and a goal from Andreasen. Once again, 2 and 2 for him. For the striker who can also play in defence midfield from Norway. So good stuff. I said it again, good stuff, keep saying it. <laughs> we start the D team uh, today with a 4 0 away victory in the semi final of the FA Trophy second leg. We already won 2 0 in the first one and then we won 4 0 again. So through to the final with uh, two goals from Everett, goal for Fortune, goal for McGrath, uh, Adj McCormack with an 8.7, very good and um, proud of the team to get to the final. That final will be at the end of the season so we've just got a few league games between now and then and um, I haven't actually played, we haven't actually played that yet on this game, still a few more games for the, the lower, for the B to see at C and D team, A teams finished all their fixtures. Um, but these teams have to play a couple more games each. But anyway, McCormack with a goal and man of the match to help us to a one all draw against Newport County. Guraj Kulas with another good solid performance. So not a bad result. But then a disappointing defeat against Stockport at home. You could argue Stockport are probably the most famous team in the conference nowadays. Well, there's a few big teams from over the years, but um, Stockport have always been known for being a league team, but still disappointing really. Uh, nothing much to talk about average performances from the team. And then to make up for it, 3 0 away victory against Bath. Lovely city, I love Bath, great place. Um, Humphreys, Anson, and Evans with goals. Sam Berry, good performance. Sutton, good performance. Everyone played reasonably well. And a good, solid 3 0 away victory. And finally for today, a 4 0 away victory ending on a high against Lincoln. Two goals for Duckett, a goal for Joe Gerrard, and man of the match. Paul Donnelly with a goal. Ash Evans, Barnshaw, McCormack, good performances, all got over eight. Brilliant, brilliant victory to end things. Proud of them. And I think we'll just have a couple more videos to do now, and that will be it. So I should get them done very soon. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in episode 17, I think. I'm losing count. But yeah, I'll see you there.